In disaster situations, every second counts. It's all about locating victims and assessing the situation as fast as possible. Robots seem to offer a perfect solution to this challenge. However, we don't see a lot of robots in the deployment kits of search and rescue professionals. Why is that? Well, it's because it's very difficult to send a robot in confined spaces, indoors, and in complex, unpredictable environments. Ground robots get stuck against obstacles, and flying robots need to stay in the air, far from any structure, or they risk crashing. Finally, flying robots pose a direct safety risk for humans. We cannot locate victims with a robot that may hurt them. We want to change that. Our vision is to empower rescuers with robotic partners that truly fit their needs. To pull use cases we identified together with first rescuers include entering in a building filled with smoke to assess the situation and localize potential victims, entering the site of an accident to identify the source of a chemical leak, or entering in an unstable structure to determine if it's safe to penetrate. In these missions, safety is critical and collisions will be unavoidable, even with the most advanced localization methods. We need to resist them without risking the failure of the mission. And that is why we developed Gimbal, the world's first collision-tolerant robot, allowing it to fly easily in any place and safe to fly in contact with humans. Our technology relies on a rotating protective frame in carbon fibers and decoupled from the inside of the robot while our flight control algorithms keep the robot stable in all situations, even after contacts. This makes the robot able to go everywhere, and in addition to flying, it can roll on walls, ceilings, and on the ground. In other words, it uses the obstacles to localize itself and find its way. It is very lightweight, and with the cage, it will not damage the environment and the people working close to it. It is the most robust and safe drone ever built. This is a breakthrough completely changing where drones can be used, and it got professionals from many different fields very excited. The startup company Flyability was built to bring this technology to the world for search and rescue as well as industrial inspection to avoid sending workers in dangerous situations, such as in nuclear environments or work in heights. However, we still have important development steps ahead of us to further improve the device and make it in a larger volume. And while we already found early adopters in the industrial segment allowing to co-finance the development in this market, it is very challenging to fund the developments towards search and rescue needs. And this is where Drones for Good can help us, by allowing us to adapt the robot more specifically to rescue scenarios, notably by including infrared imaging to see in the dark and through smoke, improving the indoor localization capabilities through visual slam and developing a dedicated user interface for use in the field. These improvements will lead to the ultimate search and rescue tool. Thank you Drones for Good.